All right, so here we've got an equation, and you'll notice right away that it's got all sines and cosines. So a good idea to try is dividing everything by cosine. And since we've got a cosine squared here, we're going to try dividing everything by cosine squared. So we're just going to do this, write this down for each one. And the first one's going to be 3 sine squared divided by cosine squared. That's going to be 3 tangent squared. And this part's a little bit weird. If you take the cosine squared and you break it up into cosine times cosine, that makes it a little bit easier to see what you can do. You notice how these cosines will cancel out? And then I end up with 5 tangent. So let's go ahead and start this over again. Plus 5 tangent and then 2. And now I'm going to do is subtract the 2. And it looks just like what they want me to make it look like. All right, so that's awesome. Now the next thing I gotta do is actually solve the equation they want me to do. So you'll notice it give me the exact same thing. So I can start with what I finished with in the first part. And then all I gotta do is solve this. Now it's a quadratic. And the way I do that is I'm gonna try to factor it. And if you got one of those calculators, you can just plug it in, but it's not too hard to do by hand. You'll notice I need two numbers to get to 6, negative 6, and 6 and negative 1 will do it. Now keep in mind it's the opposite of these numbers. These are my guys. So it's going to be tangent theta is going to equal negative 2. Tangent theta is going to equal 1 third. Well now all I'm going to do is solve these guys. So I'm going to replace this theta with the negative 2 and do the inverse. So tangent negative 1 of negative 2, that's going to give me something. If I plug it in, I'm going to find out it's negative 63.43. And then tangent one-third, it's going to give me the angle is going to be one, I'm sorry, 18.43 degrees. So now, like before, we're going to do our quick sketch. We got a negative 63.43. We note right away that's outside the scale they want us to be in. So we add 180 to it. And that gets us to... 116.56. So now that's one of our angles, 116.56 or 7. And now i got to find the other one. And if I add 180 degrees to it, that gets me 198. That's too big. So now my only other answer then is going to be the 18.43 and the 16.57. And I'm all good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped.